In this video, we will learn how to use the Python Firebase storage feature. If you watch the video until the end without skipping, you will learn everything about the Firebase storage feature. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. We will use the Firebase project we created in the first lesson. I go to the project with the Go to Console button. In the Build section, I go to the Storage tab. Click the Get Started button. You can use the storage feature in production or test mode. Test mode is enough for now. It gives you one month to try the test mode. Click the Next button and select a location for storage. You can choose any location. Click the Done button and start the installation. Storage installation is completed. You can see the permissions used for storage in the Rules section. Now let's start editing the code file. I added a text file to the project. You can work with any text. We will save this file in Firebase. We will also download the files in Firebase to the project. I am creating a new code file. I can get library and API keys from other code file. I create the necessary variables. I am creating a variable to use the storage feature. We will save the Churchill file to Firebase storage. I want the file name to be entered by the user. I can do this using the input function. I create a variable for the file name to be created in Firebase storage. So, the first variable represents the name of the file in local, the second variable represents the name of the file in the cloud. I send the values entered by the user to the child and put functions. I enter the name of the local file that I want to save to Firebase storage. I enter the path address that will be created in Firebase storage. Churchill text file will be created under the books folder. We can check the file created in Firebase. Text file in local save to Firebase. I'm converting the first example into a comment line. I can access the internet address of the file saved in Firebase. I send the path address to the child function. I can find out the Firebase address of the file by using the getURL function. Now let's learn how to download a file in Firebase. I send the path to the child function. I will send the file name and path parameters to the download function. 
file name represents the name of the file to be downloaded, and path represents where it will be saved. Slash means where it is located. Text file with the specified name was saved in the project file. Now let's learn how to read a file in Firebase. I want the user to enter the path. I will send the entered path to the child function. My goal is to reach the link of the file belonging to the entered path. I can save the link in a variable. I'm checking to see if there are any problems until this stage. I enter the path. We were able to access the file Firebase link. This is how I can send the read request using the URL library. I need to import the URL library into the project. I print the variable to the screen with print. I enter the path. The internet address and the entered text itself are printed on the console screen. In the next video, we will learn how to use the storage feature in the GUI window. Thanks for watching. If you watch the video until the end without skipping, you will learn everything about the Firebase storage feature.